For over a millennium, the most noble and skilled Sangili warriors competed fiercely for the privilege of being selected in the Covenant Honor Guard. They were tasked with providing security for the decision-making body of the Covenant, known as the High Council. So as always, I'm your host Abs, and here are the hand-picked warriors, known as the Covenant Honor Guard in Halo Law. The members of the Honor Guard swore vows to the Hierarchs and the rest of the High Council to protect them until death. They are the most skilled of warriors, with unfaltering faith and extraordinary talent, evoking fear in all who served in their presence. The Sanctum of the Hierarch was known to hold up to 300 Honor Guards. Now as part of his plan to eventually overthrow the Sangili, the Prophet of Truth slowly whittled down the numbers, and after the Prophet of Regret was assassinated, he fully changed out the Honor Guard, and this was known as the Changing of the Guard. Stating that the Sangili couldn't guarantee the Hierarch's safety in these trying times, after the Prophet of Regret's death, and so the disgraced Sangili were replaced by the Prophet's selection of savage and loyal Gerald Hane, led by the Chieftain Tartarus. Now this was a move that was entirely unheard of before, as the Sangili were always the protectors. That the brutes... Recommissioning the guard was a radical step. But recent events have made it abundantly clear that the elites can no longer guarantee our safety. I shall relay your decision to the Council. Politics, how tiresome. Do you know, Arbiter, the elites have threatened to resign? To quit the High Council? because of this exchange of hats. We have always been your protectors. These are trying times for all of us. Therefore, this move stained the entire High Council with dishonor. This act alone nearly tore the Covenant apart and helped set the stage for the Great Schism that soon followed. And this was also known as the Covenant Civil War. A war between not only species, but more so loyalties and ideologies. Within the Honor Guard itself, before the changing of the guard, there were the Sangili Honor Guardsmen. Now just by looking at their armour, it could be said that their armour was not just for combat, but also a position of great pride and honour, coloured in a combination of glowing red and orange. They also seem to always have a staff, which doesn't really prove very effective in combat, but perhaps is intended to be ceremonial, or that other weapons are favoured by the Honor Guardsmen. There were also the Lights of Sangilios, who commanded the Sangili Honor Guardsmen, also known as the Honor Guard Ultras, and they were likely more skilled than the Lonely Guardsmen, with many more years of experience in Covenant Honor Guard services, being personal guards of the Prophets on missions, showing their utmost devotion to the Covenant. Honor Guard Ultras sport the same ornate armor as the rest of the Honor Guard, with the exception being that the base armor they wear is white instead of crimson red. Then of course there were the Jiral Hani Honor Guards, who had replaced the Sangili Guardsmen. Now there are a few key differences. The Jiral Hane Guardsmen would fight with their own signature Jiral Hane weapons. But unlike the Sangili's Honor Guard helmets, the Jiral Hane's helmets were upgraded and their helmets prevented them from receiving headshots. And their helmets were also larger thanks to their larger heads. The plating of their armour is slightly different as well, with a yellow and red alternating pattern which is bordered by black. So that my friends are the Covenant Honor Guard in Halo Law. One of my first Halo Law videos. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more similar content like this. And I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen if you want to watch my other Law videos as well. I'm your host Abs. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.